Good morning. Happy to be with you again this morning. Um, New Year's is coming, and uh, you think about what it means to kind of be bringing this year to an end. Most people are ready to say, man, <laughs> I'm ready for 2020 to be over. Um, you think about the meaning of beginning a new year and what that means. Most people think of a new year as the idea of new opportunities and um, a new start, putting the past mistakes of our lives behind us and, and moving forward in, in something new. Around the world, there are a lot of different traditions for uh, starting out the new years, and I looked up some of them to, to just kind of, just because I thought it'd be kind of fun. In Siberia, and this one I don't quite get, inside Siberia, it's a tradition to drive into a frozen lake while holding a tree trunk, which is placed underneath the ice. What do you do with the car that you drove into the lake? I don't know. I don't get that. Uh, anyhow, um, it's a tradition. In, there's In a traditional festival in Burma, people splash water on one another uh, to start the new year, signifying purifying the soul. Okay. Uh, an Arme Armenian mothers bake special bread, which they need with good luck and good wishes. I'd like to get a hold of some of that bread. That sounds pretty good. Um, in the Philippines, homeowners open all their doors and windows on New Year's Eve in order to allow negative energy to leave and good energy to enter. I don't know what happens if it goes the other direction. The good, the the bad energy leaves, and the or the good energy leaves, and the bad energy comes in. I don't know. Anyhow, um, Spanish tradition holds that eating twelve grapes just before the clock chimes at midnight will bring good fortune all twelve months of the year. So you got to eat twelve grapes right before the ball drops. Uh, let's see. One New Year's uh, tradition in Ru custom in Russia is to write a wish for the upcoming year on a piece of paper, okay, then burn the piece of paper, okay, but then place the ashes in a glass of champagne, which you have to consume right before the new year is rung in for it to come true. Don't think I want to drink a glass full of ashes. I always thought Russians were a little different. Anyhow, Residents in Johannesburg, South Africa, throw, throw old appliances and furniture out the window, representing the old adage, out with the old and in with the new. I don't know who cleans up all the old furniture and all the old appliances. No peanut. She's telling me she wants out, and she'll probably keep talking. Brazilians wear white clothing as a custom meant to bring good luck for the upcoming year. It's often accompanied by a trip to the beach to throw flowers into the sea while making a wish. So all sorts of customs that take place all over the <coughs> all over the world at New Year's, but they're all basically focused on one idea. And that is all of the mistakes of the past year are kind of coming to an end and this is a time I realize it's just a date on the on the calendar. Um, there's nothing about January 1st that is going to be worlds different from December 31st. But it's a it's a point in time that we have designated as a new start, a new beginning. And there's a mindset to it that says it's it's a time for a new beginning. And I think it's something that that people have tried very hard in the past to say, okay, I want to do something new. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 43, verses 18 and 19, do not remember the former things nor consider the things of old. Behold, I will show you, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. But that first part of that verse, do not remember the former things nor consider the things of old. Sometimes we get so hung up on our past mistakes and our past failures, and all these things that we don't believe we can get it started over again. We don't believe we can 
fix it. We don't believe we can rectify it. We don't believe we can make it right. And so people don't really put the effort into trying to change. But the fact of the matter is, whether it's New Year's or not, when you come to the Lord and ask for forgiveness and ask him to put the past behind you and give you a new start, he promises he will do that. This New Year's might be just the opportunity you need to say, okay, I've made some mistakes in the past. I've done some things that I shouldn't have done. Or I've failed to do some things that I needed to do. I've failed to witness to my neighbor. I've failed to pray for my family. I've failed to, to have that time of family devotions or whatever it is that you need to do. This is an opportunity to say, regardless of what your regular New Year's tradition is, this is an opportunity to say, I'm going to change. I'm going to fix this. I'm going to go to God and ask him to direct me and guide me. I'm going to go to God and ask his forgiveness. I'm going to go to God and get a new start. And you know what? You don't have to wait till January 1st to do that. You can start new today. Give it some thought. God doesn't recognize our calendar, but he does offer his grace every day of every year to every person who will reach out to him and seek his forgiveness and his help. Give that some thought as we head forward into 2021. God bless you. I'll talk to you tomorrow.